Right, this one's probably going to end up as a short. I'm trying to remember to keep you in the field of view. Hopefully the autofocus is working. Um, right, so we've got a uh, carbon seat post off a bike. Can't remember which one it is, but it's the it's one of those ones that's unique to that bike. It comes with the bike, and the idea is you cut it down to size. Um, the bike's the right size for the rider, but the stem is a lot longer for taller riders and it does need trimming down because she can't get as low as she needs it so it just needs uh, three centimeters taking off it the challenge that she got was uh, it's got a D2i Shimano system in there and the battery was loaded into here and the battery was uh, 10 millimeters recessed in and she needs 30 millimeters taken off the seat post so um, the first thing we had to do was make sure that we could actually take the battery out and then secondly we had to make sure that the battery would actually recess further now I've tested it I'm video taking the battery out because I did it um, I did it inside um, at the desk at the time so I could just tell her straight away whether I could do it or not the battery will drop down you can cut the seat post all the way down to here if you need to um, what does it say what uh, Oh, it is. It's a giant. It is a giant. Yeah, it's a, gi a giant. I'm not sure which one it is. It's not the. Li it might be the live, um, but it's a ladies' giant bike anyway, and it's got D2i, nice group set and everything. Anyway, we digress slightly. So I have tested it. I can get the battery down to here. Uh, the battery's got like a uh, split locking system, so you just tighten up a screw and a wedge rolls in. It just jams it in place. So that's fine. Um, so all I've done is I've measured down 30 cent, 30 millimetres uh, and put this tape line on and we're just going to cut it now. So squeaky bum time but you'll already notice I've done a test cut just to make sure it was doable um, before I went and went hacking in. So I don't always advise this, make sure you've got the right equipment. I have got a carbon hacksaw, which is special, it has a special blade on it for cutting carbon and that's what I'm going to do. It does a very neat cut. So you can see I've already cut this once, there's very little breakout right around the edge at all and what there is I'll be able to just rub off lightly with a uh, um, with a file or a, a diamond, diamond stone. So you can see it makes a very neat cut. I've taken that off there. There's some, very neat cut um, but it's a bit Heath Robinson normally if I'm doing the seat stems you've seen I've got a special tool that clamps it in place and it all goes in I'm pretty sure this doesn't fit it because if it had I would have used it rather than using that because that is a pain up the back side no it doesn't fit so that's the steer tube one uh, that doesn't fit in that way or any other way I don't think no, it doesn't go through the guide hole, so that doesn't fit. So the only option I've got really is to use that or put it through the bandsaw. The bandsaw is too aggressive. I have, I do have a steel cutting saw on the bandsaw, and it's a very fine one. But um, if it snags, it's going to make a right mess of this. So what I've elected to do is I'm just going to shove this in there, hold it, and hope for the best. So I've done my test cut, so it should be all right. So I'm just going to line it up with that hole. It doesn't have to be accurate because she did actually say she wanted a bit more off. Um, initially she asked for two and a half. Uh, then she said, can you do me three centimetres or 30 millimetres? Um, then she said, I'll take some more off. And I said, well, no, let's, let's just take the three mil off first. See where we are. See how far off we are before we cut any more off. Because if we, if we cut too much off, um, then we can't stick it back on. It's not an issue. It won't be a problem because... Um, what happens is when she inserts it, it's going so far down the, the tube and it's either hitting a recess in the uh, in the seat tube on the bike, the down tube, no that's not that's not the down tube, the, 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 the tube that the seat post goes into or sometimes the actual uh, rib nuts for the uh, the water bottle mounting to stick through and your seat post comes down and smashes into the back of them so we'll put this in, make sure it's not banging on them and then we'll do her a bike fit. If it needs any more off, we'll take some more off. And that was another reason for doing a sliver. So I can take a couple of mil off at a time confidently. So if I do have to just trim it another mil or so, then I know it's, it's doable. But um, cutting carbon, not for the faint hearted. So wish me luck. This is going to be a while by the way, so this will be speeded up in fact. I'll stop you and restart you to make my life. So 
sure there'll be some quirky music in the background. got a good focus on there so that looks okay quite pleased with that it's reasonably uh, reasonably straight cut it's smooth that way what, what you're more bothered about is if you got any ripples or edges in it so even if it is deviated slightly which it might be but you can't guarantee I put this tape on the right way around the only way you could do that is to is to spin it round against something so the tapes just there as a guide for a measurement I'm pretty sure that's flat and it's the tape that's out because I used the uh, I used the jig so we'll just get this off before the uh, thing. I did notice it was going it was going through that well at one point that it was uh, it was overheating it slightly and it was uh, it was snagging the saw so I did have to back off a bit. Um, we've got a bit of glue residue on there as well. We'll have to uh, we'll have to sort that out. Which reminds me, I'll need to remind Kate that she does need to use. Uh, um, thing and that minimum insert is now is now going to be 30 sec 30 up there so that that's the other thing as well because that, that's the bit we don't know that this seatbelt hasn't already been cut down so that minimum insert line really wants rubbing off um, and you shouldn't use it as a guideline because I would say that that as a minimum insert is probably too short I would have probably have said about that much in the tube because otherwise you're putting too much force on that little piece so I'd, I'd say probably um, there with that on so I think we'll be but I can't see anybody lifting up and the other thing as well is I, mean, I know I said don't cut it down in case you want to sell it because it makes it too short then but in reality if somebody does buy it and they're that desperate you can just buy these from the manufacturer they do sell them um, assuming the bike's not too old um, but we'll uh, I think that's okay we'll just clip dress it up there and then that's it jobs are good and Hey, okay, finally. Right, so one one last thing. Uh, I've just cleaned it up and I have just rubbed a little bit of uh, um, cellulose lacquer around it as well just to seal up the cut, just to keep um, just to keep the water out of it. It should be okay, it's resin, but 
Um, I know with fiberglass you've got to be careful once the gel coat's broken that you don't get water ingress so just to be on the safe side I've just touched it up. Um, it was something I did to my forks when I did my forks so uh, we'll have to see how that goes and there was a little bit of rubbing on the front from the uh, assembly thing so I've just rubbed a little bit further up the stem as well so that looks that looks fine that. I think that's going to be good. Right back to the uh, oops we've lost focus again back to the uh, back to the owner. Come on you can do it camera. <laughs> 